Hi friend, have you ever had a situation where you had a left join and after joining the data in the final result that you had more rows than on the base side of the join? In this video I will explain to you why this happens and what we can do about it. Let's say we have two simple tables. We have an employee table and a department table. Our goal is to have a final result where we have our employees and in which departments they are working. In the employee table we just have our name and the department ID in which they are working. The department table has a department ID, we have a department name, we have the manager who was responsible for that department point in time and we have the validity, valid from and valid to. Now, let's say we join these two tables with a left join from the employee table to the department table using the department ID as our join criteria. And then suddenly in the final result set we have a duplicate row for Bob being in the IT. In this example we have taken the department ID as our join criteria and it turns out that it's not enough to have the department ID alone as a criteria to identify the row within the department ID. We have now joined both rows of this table. This will get more clear if we also add the manager here and if we do so run the query again and then we see that we have Bob in IT once with John as his manager and the second time with Ben as his manager. And this is already the reason where our duplications come from. So what are we going to do about it? In our example here where we have a validity, valid from, valid to, we could just say point in time we add the validity as a join criteria stating that we join via department ID and let's say we want to join with the current manager of the department then we can say get date between valid from and valid to. Running this we will see that now we only have one row for Bob with the manager being Ben. Okay that was an easy example but what do we do if our data itself has duplicates? If we jump back to the example where we were not interested in the manager we could just say we add in distinct so each and every value has to be distinct and this will eliminate the duplicate value. The final option that we have would be a string aggregation. In this case we take our differing values from the rows and put them in one column and we can separate them. For example comma separated as in the example that I'm showing right now. As is always the case when we do an aggregation like min or max for number columns, here for strings we have to group them by the columns that are not part of the aggregation. And the syntax looks then like this. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions or other solutions that you would like to share, please leave them in the comments. I would like to hear it.